Okay, so this is a quick video just demonstrating how to use program change messages with the TRAS so that you can change patterns and you can change kits. So first thing I'll do is I'll show you what uh, settings we need to set up in the utility menu. Um, go to the MIDI section in there and um, just check what your pattern channel is. Um, in this case mine is set to pattern channel 10 and uh, kit channel is set to 1 so uh, take a note of those for later. Um, also need to make sure that the receive program change setting is set to on. Um, the other settings don't particularly affect this, so I think that's all we need to change here. Um, yeah, let's come out of utility. Right, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll show you what I've got set up just now in Ableton. Um, I've got a, um, a device set up so that um, uh, I can get the individual outputs from the TRAS into separate tracks. Uh, in Ableton. So what I've got is um, the mix out and then the individual, the six individual mono outputs. Um, what I've done is I've created a group, just I've got various similar setups um, for other devices. I've created a group just to make it easy to um, expand and um, contract these as I need to. Um, so, um, what we need to do is start playing a path pattern, um, if these go away. Um, since these are just audio channels, um, I'm not sending MIDI out over these. Um, I'm just using the TRS. Um, I'm not sending it any MIDI notes, I'm just using the sequencer in the TRAS, so these are just audio channels. So in order to send it MIDI, what I've done is I've set up two separate MIDI tracks here. Um, the f so what I've done is create a MIDI track, put on the MIDI track an external instrument device, which is one of these. Um, because I'm plugged in via USB, um, Terry S appears in the list. Um, from the settings that we've just looked at on the Terry S, um, channel 10 was the first um, first of the mini channels, which I've lost the setting now. It is, yeah, uh, the pattern channel. Um, so 10 is for changing patterns. Um, because I've already got audio tracks set up, I'm not using the audio input. Um, you may be, it's just, it's just the way I've got it set up in Ableton just now. Um, so for kits, um, I've done the same thing using external instrument. Again, channel MIDI channel one, which was um, what we saw in the setup menu. So that's two MIDI channels set up with the purpose of one controlling the patterns and one controlling the kits. And, and then in order to do that, um, you need to create a uh, just a, an empty MIDI region. So I don't have any uh, notes in there. It's just completely empty. Um, the, its only purpose at the moment is to send program change messages and if you keep an eye on the screen you'll see that um, it needs to be moving for yeah it needs to be moving before it sees these so um, right let's just play a pattern I've edited it so that 